camera ready? Hello, I am here with the amazing cast from Unseen, an awesome new Netflix series hitting the screens on the 29th of March. And you're with ATI FM on the entertainment news with Enrico Alfonso. Hello, Gail. It's so nice to officially meet you. Oh, Enrico, thank you so <laughs> much. Lovely meeting you. Thank you. And thank you. And after watching just a sneak peek of the Unseen on Netflix, I'm even more of a fan now. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can you see my cheeks going red? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank just you. The, just in terms of the cin cinematography as mm. the whole show is mm. ridiculously amazing. Yeah. So I just want to ask you from my side, um, what was it like coming onto this Netflix set and this production? And mm. how was your experience um, mm. in terms of that? I mean, this is my second Netflix show. Um, it's also my third show with Gambit. <laughs> so it was like coming home, mm -hmm. you know? Wow. It was like just working with a group of people I've worked with before. Mm. Um, you know, Zen, you talk about the cinematography, Zen is on another level. And then yes, you've got the level. directors, you know, um, Travis, Ho Lee, and, and Twiggy, you know, incredible team. And then you've got the cast and of course the crew members. It just felt like home. I, I've, I've said before that every single person that's contributed to the show, cast members, they all just made it so easy to bring this show and the characters to life. So I'm, I'm really honored to be a part of it. Wow, okay, and then in your own words, what is this show about? What can they expect? Okay, so Unseen on Netflix is about uh, Zen Zimwale, played by myself. Um, you know, a domestic worker who really finds herself, even as a domestic worker, in a world where she's having to fend for herself and goes on this journey to try and find her missing husband um, and in the process discovers, you know, um, or encounters a lot of dangerous people mm -hmm. and finds herself being drawn into this very dangerous world that her husband was dabbling in and, and having to survive it and having to fight for herself and fend for herself and stand up for herself. Um, it's also a show that, for me, highlights um, the reality that there are many people in our communities and our societies that go unseen mm -hmm. uh, and you see it in Zenzi's life and through her journey how invisible she is and she's only invisible because of her social standing um, so there's a lot of opportunity for us to hold a mirror up to ourselves and um, see ourselves in some of these characters but it's also a very gripping nail-biting on the edge of your seat kind of thriller oh, yeah, um, yeah so <laughs> it is it, it is incredible I can't wait for you to see it Thank you. So, uh, speaking of that, and I spoke with Elsie actually pointed me to this, is the name Unseen mm. and what that actually connotates to you. Did that change your perspective of how um, it feels to be unseen in South Africa, especially in terms of women and the missing cases that mm. were going to solve in South Africa? So what was interesting, we were filming at Canal Walk once and I was in my in character, you know, and then we broke for lunch and I thought, oh, I actually feel like something different for lunch. So I walked into Canal Walk and usually people would notice you and be like, isn't that? I walked in, I walked out, not a single person went, isn't that? Because I was in full makeup and I had my wardrobe on and no one noticed me. No one cared to look in my direction. No one was like, and not that I wanted that, but it was quite interesting to see mm -hmm. how easy it is to slip in and out of a world when you are sort of, when you look a certain way and you're dressed a certain way, when people perceive you to be somebody else or from a certain so, sort of social um, uh, background. Um, so there is definitely an opportunity for us to start going, hang on, there are people within our immediate circles that we, we keep out of our bubble, you know, and that we don't allow in and that we don't acknowledge. Uh, you know, stopping at a robot, there's constantly people asking for money, for food, and they are invisible. Yes. Some of us don't even look at them. Some of us, you can look straight ahead and the guy's right here and you're just like, yeah, so I'm listening, you know? So just for me, it became a moment of just becoming very aware of just seeing people, just noticing them, making somebody feel, even if I don't have anything to give, but I see you, you know, I acknowledge you, you human and, and I can see you. Yeah. So I think that, that that's um, something for me that I could take away from the show, apart from the fact that it is incredible <laughs> and you may have to watch it. it. Thank you so much. Okay, we will unto you, man. Usually in these cases, we see the female character, actually the one that is the husband or the male leading character is looking for. Yeah. This, In terms of this, you're the other way around where he's looking for you. And you're sort of this enigma character. Mm. You know, she's in love with you, but we don't really get to see you a lot. And you're kind of... Um, unseen. Yeah, yeah <laughs> unseen. <right? laughs> so how was that, getting into that role and, and playing that type of character this time around? <sighs> I mean, I think my experience is really uh, all about uh, being noticed. Yeah, 
Why, why did I get distracted? I don't know. <laughs> I don't I have know. just been you, going you through it. I don't know. You looked at Gail again <laughs> and you got distracted. <laughs> like this whole time thing, I was it like, I've been just, you know, dealing with it. Anyway. anyway, okay, cool. So I think, um, uh, I think with the work that we do, you get, you know, a, a, a fame that comes with it. And you know you 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 get noticed, you get seen all the time. You get mm. like it becomes you know, mm -hmm. uh, and it can become a thing where you know if it happens for a very long time, if it doesn't happen, you kind of okay. Mm. Why did you know? That's, mm. It's like human natural human so, yeah. kind of uh, thing. And I think with with uh, with, with with unseen um, and. You know, think about it as well. You know, I've always played kind of a like a uh, alpha male kind of action like hero, hero action, <laughs> action. No, you know, action that sort hero. of thing. So, so, so I think it, it, it kind of also even you know uh, dug deeper into that like whatever kind of insecurity or whatever um, uh, that may that that I may have been dealing with. But I think, mm. yeah, I think being the de demsel is not not demsel in distress, but like being the one who's not <laughs> the one. Who's not, it's English, guys. Oh, no, English. No, no, like, one who needed rescuing. Like, <laughs> like the one need, 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 need being found. The being yeah, yeah. 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 So yes. so I think it's 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 like one of those things where mm. it was like kind of mm. strange, because the character deals a lot with you know hopelessness and kind mm. of powerlessness as well. So now you Does have. That mean, like drew you to the role to like take on this part because it's like different from what you were playing in the past. Yeah, yeah you know, it did. It, it it did present those challenges, and I found that quite interesting, and I wanted to, but at the same time, because it's you, you you're dealing with things that you and I, you know, naturally we it's not easy to to be vulnerable and what have you, and so yes, I wanted wanted to, but the challenge was in in, in that mm -hmm. and. Uh, and I was saying earlier on, it was, you know, it, it was so intense that, you know, uh, a lot of times I didn't want to go and work. I didn't want to go oh, on wow. set because then I have to, you know, uh, deal with these, mm -hmm. with these uh, emotions. Sure. So, yeah. Wow. So to your question, how did it feel being the one not in action, you know, put on top of that, like all of that that I'm dealing with in the story, the, 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 the issues that the character is dealing with in the, in the story itself. It's like, oh my God, I still had too much to deal with, mm -hmm. too much vulnerable, mm -hmm. you know. I wanted to come out with like a freaking gun and <laughs> a knife after that and just be, a, be a gangster. Yeah, no more. <laughs> no more. No, but I love the change of pace and the depth. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Right, and then, Daniel, how was, okay, I know we spoke earlier about the... Oh, sorry, shucks. Yes. Did I get it wrong? No. Oh, uh, okay. My I'm name. Not, yeah. No, no, not at all. No, no, no. No, uh, no so, uh, okay, I know we were talking earlier about t different takes and mm. those kinds of things. Can you tell us about your character and how she fits into the story? Um, I uh, play the character of Naledi, uh, who is Zenzi's younger sister. Um, in this first season of Unseen on Netflix, um, Naledi's entire purpose, rhyme, and reason is Zenzi. Um, and it doesn't set out that way. In fact, when you first see the two of them together, you just, it, it feels very much like a resentful relationship. Um, one where the other looks down upon the other. But as you comb through the nuances, as you take a deeper look into who these two people are, you understand that Zenzi becomes a catalyst for Naledi's growth. Mm -hmm. And as that happens, you, you, you find Naledi really fall away from every stereotype that you'd attached to her. Mm -hmm. So for me, um, when, when you do watch it, you're going to realize only at the end how deep and strong the bond of these two sisters are um, and how for Naledi, nothing else really matters in the world. Um, she tried her best to be a selfish being. I mean, she has selfish traits, but in all that she is doing, there is no world that she can exist in where her sister isn't well and alive. That's wholesome. <laughs> it's not as wholesome when you watch it, but hey, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Can we still do the shout-outs? One minute. Okay, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> okay, just the shout-outs. 
Uh, so your names, and then you're listening to Eta FM. Mm-hmm. Eta, as in Eta. Eta, yeah. Eta. Yeah, like however you say. Cool. And then your names again, and Unseen comes out on Netflix 29th. Name again. Name again. Hater FM. Hater FM. Yeah, the name. Hater okay. FM. Yeah. Just do the one, then your name. Yeah. Unseen comes out on the 29th of March, Netflix, go and watch. Cool. Okay. Okay, let's Yo, do can, can we share that? Yo, we're going to share that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's share it. Yo. Okay. What should we do? Share the whole thing. Uh, yeah. I, I, my name is Ruyo Dabu Okay. Okay, you do it. Let me see. How, how we've been, been doing it the whole day. Oh, okay. Um, Gail. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Let's you do, do, you do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whatever you're ready. Hi, I am Gail Mabalane, and I play the character of Zenzi on Unseen on Netflix, and I'm with Dineo Langa and Vuyo Dabula, and... We are the cast of Unseen. <laughs> we are the cast of Unseen. Please make sure that you do catch it when it comes out on the... 29th. Oh, oh there we go. 29th of March. You did it. Coming out on the 29th on uh, Netflix. Yeah. yeah. Only on Netflix. Thank you so much. <laughs> nice. You guys are awesome. Teamwork. <laughs> Teamwork. We are. <laughs> you got we are it. Finally yeah. did it. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was such a great interview.